Hey guys, welcome to the video. Uh, today, I'm on my way home. I'm at uni at the moment in Manchester, and I'm on my way back later this evening to go home, which means I'm finally going to get to build up the Marin again, which is great. So having the Marin means that I'm going to have a bike for here, which is nice. I'll have the Specialised for when I'm at home, going big trails and stuff, and then the Marin for here. Uh, so hopefully we should do some pump tracks and stuff like that. I'm going to try and keep uh, making videos because I enjoy it, it gives me something to do. Uh, so yeah, the Marin should do that. Uh, I've also got a new GoPro as well. I've got another 7, so we should get some good GoPro footage as well. So yeah, I will see you once I'm finally home. So I actually ended up getting back pretty late last night, so I didn't have loads of time. But I did this, I didn't video any of it, but this is what I managed to do last night. We've got a Fox 34 factory. 2018, so it's literally the, exactly the same as the fork that I had in here originally, but factory. So it's got these lovely gold stanchions, which are actually really clean. The lowers are pretty battered and stuff like that, and this is a bit dodgy. So we'll have to see how well it works, but I did only pay 200 quid for it, which is an absolute steal. Um, so yeah, so that's that. We also had to replace the bottom cup on here. Uh, it is grey, because uh, I couldn't find any black ones in stock in time to get it done. So, other parts we've got, I've got a set of Code R's for £100, which is also an absolute bargain, with the rotors as well, and the adapter for the 200, so I just had to buy this, which is just a little adapter for the back, so the 160 to 180. I also bought these as well, which are a set of Bergtech penthouse pedals, which are super battered as you can see, but the bearings are all great, and I paid 25 quid for these, which is also an absolute bargain. So yeah, that's what we've got that I bought new, and now we'll go and have a look at what I had already that I'm using. So yeah, this is the specialised. I'm going to be robbing the bars and stem and the top cap bits and bobs off of here. Now I have a choice of two seats. I've got this one, which is a Nutri Riser one, super bad, which I think I'm going to use because it'll make the bike look not quite as nice, so it's less likely to get nicked. Or I've got this lovely uh, DMR one. For the wheels, I've got the old uh, Nutri Horizon V2s, which I had before. Same tyres, same everything. This is going to be the drivetrain, it is the old Shimano Dior uh, 10 speed off of my Newt Proof Scout, my old 2018 Newt Proof Scout that I had in 2020 uh, that I took off and I kept. And the Dior crank set is going to be paired up with these NX cranks which came off of the Specialized. And last but not least, it's actually in this box, it is the old uh, E13 uh, Vario dropper post and lever. So we'll go get it built up now, well the rest of it built up. And I'll see you guys once all of this wonderful stuff is on the Marin. So I put the wheels on, um, unfortunately the cable uh, for the shifter and the housing I have aren't long enough so I'm going to have to walk down uh, to bike shop and get some more, which I'm going to go do now, uh, but I thought I'd put the wheels on just so we can have a look at it now, how it is, so yeah we've got the NX cranks, the Dior drivetrain down there and then the Fox 34s up front and honestly it looks really good uh, actually I, I really like the way it looks so far so we get some more cable housing and stuff and then we'll crack on when I'm back so as you can see I did not get it sorted we're back in my wonderful wonderful apartment and it's still in pieces which isn't great so yeah we've got the pedals now and they are very tatty I also got a purple top cap which is cool so 
we got the cable, we got a longer cable, so the derailleur is all hooked up, we need to sort of chain out. So we've had a few problems, I've broken the housing for the drop post, so I need to sort that, and the brakes are going to need uh, putting on the bleeding. I'm going to bother filming it, but I will see you guys when it's all put together and ready to go, and hopefully we'll go and ride it for a little bit at the end of this video. So, I will see you guys shortly. So, we finally made it outside. Um, I'm currently on my way home, so the riding bit footage you're about to see is going to be after this. We still have no rear brake, unfortunately. I'm still waiting for a lever. And then, last but not least, I got our troublesome tyre fixed. We've got a Schwalbe Hans Damp. Not really see it, but yeah. It's a Hans Damp 27 and a half by 2.6. So yeah, anyway, let's go and crack on with some riding. Look at this. This is mega. Just try the small one because I don't want to die with Thank you very much for watching hopefully you enjoyed something a bit different um i'll try and do more riding videos um we'll try and get some proper trails and stuff soon um but yeah the bike's running good needs a little bit of fine tuning but other than that yeah it's, we've done all right so so yeah thank you very much for watching um if you enjoyed make sure to like and subscribe and all that stuff if you feel like it and yeah, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.